What's up, Saints fans? Before we get into the latest news and rumors going on around the New Orleans Saints, I want to go ahead and tell you that we have a mailbag coming up close to uh, the end of the week on this channel. If you want to be featured, you got to do two things for me. First, you have to be a subscriber if you want your questions featured. Second, you got to use hashtag Saints. So you could do something like, I don't know, hashtag Saints, should they go out and sign Jameis Winston? That would be a question that you could do. We're going to pick our favorites, then we're going to go ahead and answer them, and that's going to be coming up a little bit later on in the week. Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and we're going to get into the latest coaching rumors. We're going to talk about Russell Wilson. We're going to talk about Jameis Winston on today's show. And if you're not already a subscriber of this YouTube channel, then what the heck are you waiting for? This is the fastest growing Saints channel on YouTube, and I want you to join our family. Now, I don't know about y'all. I do a lot of different content here at Chat Sports, and I predicted Dennis Allen was going to be the next head coach of the New Orleans Saints. So not only do I want to give myself a pat on the back, but when you see a guy like Allen who, let's just face it, did not do very well with the Raiders back in 2012 to 2014, has been with the Saints since 2015, I'm really excited for him. I know a lot of Saints fans are excited for him as well. And if you are hyped for Dennis Allen to be the next head coach of the Saints, I want you to go ahead and smash that like button. Now, obviously, one of the things that Allen's going to have to do is figure out what exactly is going to happen at the quarterback position. No longer Drew breeze with all the ups and downs that New Orleans had. This is definitely going to be something that continues to get circulated and it's how do they upgrade? Could they potentially go out and get Russell Wilson? Well, Tons and tons of rumors have been circulating around Wilson for over a year. And an old report that Wilson and his camp said that he would actually lift his no trade clause for the Saints. Now, the Saints were among a few other teams that were listed in the teams that he would lift his no trade clause for. But at the end of the day, you know, you'd be feeling pretty good about it, right, if Wilson was the quarterback of your team. Now, this past weekend was the Pro Bowl, and Saints media was definitely hyping up Wilson. There were a bunch of players around him, and, well, Russ, maybe you should have been uh, doing something better with Alvin Kamara. But at the end of the day, Russ was a very, very popular person for obvious reasons, and a lot of Saints players, a lot of the Saints fans that were there were trying to just hype up Wilson to come on down to New Orleans. Now, I get it. If you're going to go out and get Wilson, it's going to cost you a lot of money, and he's definitely one of the better quarterbacks in the National Football League. If I were to tell you that this is actually one of his worst seasons that he's had in quite some time, some people might not believe me. He dealt with a thumb injury. The offensive line was bad. Even some of his wide receivers and tight ends got banged up a little bit. Now, 64.8% completion percentage, 3,113 yards, 25 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, but you put Russell Wilson on this New Orleans Saints team, and I'm going to be honest with you all, they make the playoffs, and I don't really think too many people would argue with that. Now, if you go out and trade for Russ, the way that his contract works is Seattle actually would have to eat a lot of his money, and he would technically only have two years for $51 million that you'd have to pay. Russell, I think, obviously would ask for a new contract and a contract extension, probably sitting where somewhere between 35 to $40 million a year. But if you believe that Wilson's a top-five quarterback and you're a quarterback away, who knows? Maybe the Saints go ahead and do it. Now, here's what Mike Triplett had to say. The Saints have a hole at quarterback as long as Jameis Winston remains unsigned as a free agent, and they have a win-now roster with stars like Cameron Jordan, Demario Davis, and Malcolm Jenkins in their 30s, and Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas still in their prime windows. Although it doesn't look like we have the cap space, we can make it work. And I'm really happy that that was brought up because at the end of the day, I understand that the Saints are in a cap situational hell. But if there is one thing I've learned from covering the NFL, and a lot of Saints fans should know the exact same thing, if you want to push back salary cap, you can do it. If you want to get flexible, and if you really truly want to make a run out of player, you can do it. Now, you might have to sacrifice things in the past or in the future, I guess is how I should say it. But at the end of the day, if you want to make something work, you absolutely can do it. So let me know down in the comments section, y'all. Type Y for yes or I want you to type N for no. Do you want the Saints to go out and get Russell Wilson? Type Y for yes, or I want you to go ahead and type N for no. If the Saints want to go with a cheaper option, I personally think you go with Jameis Winston, who you can say what you want about Jabbo, but at the end of the day, man, like this guy was really pretty successful for this New Orleans team, and I felt 
just terrible when he you know tore up his knee you could see the frustration in his eyes and I get it man he, he was once a Tampa Bay Buccaneer didn't eat too many W's in Tampa but he was eating some W's with New Orleans this is a five and two football team they were trending in the right direction and if you are trying to just make a little bit more sense financial and just try to get closer to the not being in the negatives and salary cap why not go out and get Jameis Winston? I mean, I know of this. If I was Winston coming off a torn ACL and I maybe wanted to go out and sign a one, two-year deal, the team I would absolutely pick is the New Orleans Saints because the only way you can go is up. I mean, yes, the completion percentage isn't great, but 1,170 yards, 14 touchdowns, three interceptions, and that's with, I think everyone who watching the show right now would agree, Pretty subpar wide receiver play. You would like to think that they're going to be able to upgrade in the draft, whether that's with a, I don't know, Traylon Burks, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Jamison Williams, one of these top five, six receivers that can go, you know, maybe early on. Or maybe you go out and get somebody in free agency. Are you going to have Michael Thomas back? Like, all I'm saying is this. I would imagine that Jamis Winston would be a little bit better going forward. Now, we're going to be sitting here wondering, hey, do they go out and trade for somebody like Wilson? Do they go out and sign somebody like Jameis Winston? But here's what Mike Triplett had to say again. We have explored several avenues, including a blockbuster trade for Russell Wilson, because we remain in win-now mode despite a coaching change in salary cap constraints. However, a short-term deal with Winston makes the most financial sense. Winston would be the projected starter in 2022 as long as he recovers fully from a torn ACL. So if, let's just say the Saints, they decide to go out and make a blockbuster trade for Russell Wilson, we're going to get you guys a video. If they decide to go out and bring quarterback in like Jameis Winston or who knows, maybe one of these other free agent guys out there, Mitch Trubisky, I actually think would be a pretty interesting name. We will keep you guys up to date. So smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. If you don't know how, there's really like a little bell underneath each and every video. Click that, click all, that way you don't miss a thing. Now, one of the things that Chat Sports does well that not a lot of other YouTube channels do is we let you guys be almost just as influential on these shows as we are. We go down to the comments, and specifically because I asked for questions at the start of the show, I am definitely going to be looking to see what you guys have to say about this. Now, obviously, Russell Wilson's the better guy, right? So I'm not sitting up here saying, pick the better quarterback. It's obviously Russell Wilson. But in terms of scenario, would you rather go out and sign Jameis Winston, let's say for, I don't know, $9, $10 million per year, or would you rather go out and trade for Russell Wilson, give up extra draft? draft capital and probably have to pay him close to 35 to 40 million dollars a year type JW for Jameis Winston or RW for Russell Wilson Super Bowl 56 is this week and man I can't freaking wait I don't know what I'm going to be eating I don't know if I'm going to be eating chicken tenders if I'm going to have burger nachos if you guys want to let me know what you're going to be munching on during the Super Bowl Sunday please go ahead and do so I do know one thing that I'm going to be doing though Put my money where my mouth is. Now, it might be stuffed with some chips, and it might be stuffed with some other stuff, but I am going to go to chatsports.com slash bet, and if you haven't already used promo code chat125, what the heck are you waiting for? It's the best betting deal on the internet. So if you want to bet on the Rams, if you want to bet on the Bengals, if you just want to root for a high-scoring game, bet on the over, because right now it's at 48 and a half. Why I love this deal is because imagine a world where you could put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. You can even be a big baller. Deposit bonus up to $500. Get $625 for free. It's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. So the latest going on here around the New Orleans Saints coaching update is that to be honest, there's not too much of an update, but Dennis Allen, he's looking to make some changes to the Saints offense, which for obvious reasons was very lacking last season. Allen wants to go ahead and hire somebody on the outside in terms of an offensive coordinator. Now, Pete Carmichael, I know, has been somebody that's been circulating pretty frequently, but he's expected to take a new role with the Saints. It's just not going to be the offensive coordinator. Some of the names that have been buzzing around Saints Twitter, Saints Instagram, and social media in general, Eric Bieniemy. I know that he's the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, but there's a lot of people that have actually been wondering, would he leave the Kansas City? Because we've had two hiring cycles where he has not been hired by a team for a head coach. It's because a lot of people think that Andy Reid's the one calling the plates. Could he potentially leave, be the main man in New Orleans,
Orleans, a city that he grew up in. I don't know. It, it's a bit of a step down in terms of offense, but the enemy might be taken a little bit more seriously as a head coach. Doug Marone, offensive line coach for Alabama, somebody who worked close with Dennis Allen before. And then your DCs. I really think it's between Ryan Nielsen and Chris Richard. Richard's got some interviews to be a DC, some other spots. If it was up to me, I personally would hire Nielsen, but I also know Chris Richard from his times with the Cowboys and some other past regimes like the Seattle Seahawks. A lot of people think he's uh, pretty great. So who do you want to be the Saints OC and be the Saints DC in 2022? I mean, if you could go out and steal somebody like Eric Bieniemy, that would be a slam dunk type of hire. I'm going to go with Nielsen. I'm going to go with Bieniemy, though I would be very shocked if Bieniemy came to New Orleans. Now, remember, y'all, hit that sub button. I'm getting ready to get the heck out of here. I want everyone to enjoy the rest of your day. But if you want to be featured in that upcoming Saints mailbag, you got to use hashtag Saints down in the comments, and you got to be a subscriber.